Well, we've got Mad Dog and we've got Mad Dog's dog. Monkey. Monkey the dog with yeah. us. Hi, Monkey. How you doing? Good boy. Oh, you're good boy. Good there boy. You are. There you are. There you he are. is a cheese fanatic. Everybody was talking about how he was uh, jumping in the cheese earlier really on. <laughs> He'll jump in anything, that little puppy. <laughs> hey, you know, it's tailgate time, and we did a. We always talk about coffee rubs. I think very seldom do we create one, but it was equal parts of Grandma Hazel's rub, equal parts of brown sugar, okay. and equal parts of, brown, of of coffee, right out of the canister. Uh, now, is it instant or regular? No, no, regular coffee. Okay. And, and, and espresso was a finer grade, so it'd be stronger. Okay. And, and this is just a medium blend. It does make a difference with the rubs. And I was going to slobber our nice thick barbecue sauce on there, but them rubs turned out delicious. I cooked them on a low direct heat for about 7, 8, 12 minutes on both sides, just a nice low heat and that coffee rub just gorgeously you know, stayed right with it. So those are going to be excellent on the grill right there. Our zucchini wedges, we rolled an Italian dressing and then Parmesan cheese that was also seasoned uh, with Grandma Hazel's rub. But I'm going to see if I can't scoop a couple of those off to show over here. Oh, those look gorgeous. They are just delicious. I, I left them right down on the rind. And, and, and that just browns up very nice. Now we could have toasted them a tad bit more. And I think some in the back, depending on where your heat source is, sure. brown up a little bit more. And you can turn them on the grill and toast them up extremely nice. But if you don't know what to do with zucchini, that's probably one of the better ones to do zucchini anywhere in the world. Except for Merrill's wife makes the best muffins with zucchini. Oh, oh yeah, I could see that. I could yeah. see that. And I, believe it or not, last year my garden was so bad. I think we got one zucchini. Really? The entire plant. But this year. This year, well, we've seen all the rain. Yeah. We've hit it up with that Miracle Grow stuff. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot. We've already had. We, I think we've got about ten already yeah. out there. Yeah. So you're kind of floating in the stuff. This is a good idea to really use. Well, your, the, the uh, farmers your markets veggies. are out there too. You know, and they, they're, oh, yeah. they're thriving for your business. You know, they, they're local farmers, and so you go get some zucchini from them, and you'll be the happiest people in the world. Hey, today we're at the Sauerkraut Fest in Bear Creek at 12:30. We have a stage presentation. Okay. Tuesday, if you're in the market, we're at Red and White over in Appleton at the wine place. I have been to Red and White. And it's going to be a, 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 a Louisiana theme, so I'm sure there's still room for you to get involved with that. And then we're going to be in uh, in Keel on Thursday at the Piggly Wiggly from 10 to 1, and Manitowoc on Thursday from 2 to 5 at the Piggly Wiggly. These guys are busy. These well, then we're at the busy. Master Gardeners that night in, in Manitowoc, too, but I think that's booked up. Okay, that's <laughs> booked up. All right. Well, I'm, uh, I'm getting tired just thinking about all the work they have done. Uh, we will be right back, though. Uh, you're watching Good Day Wisconsin. Don't jump on the grill. No. That would be a bad, bad yeah. idea. Remember, Midwest Grilling is on at 930 on CW14.